Hello literature lovers, today I am going to talk about Edward Kemal Brathwaite. He was a barbarian, sorry, Barbadian poet, academic, widely considered one of the more major voices in the Caribbean literary canon. Formerly a professor of comparative literature at New York University. Brethwit was the 2006 international winner of the Graffin Poetry Prize for his volume of poetry, Born to Slow Horses. Brethwit held a PhD from the University of Sussex, 1968, and was the co-founder of the Caribbean Artist Movement, CAM. He received both the Gegeham and Fulbright Fellowships in 1983 and was a winner of the 1994 Nostag International Prize for Literature and the Gasser Award, the Casa de Al. America's Prize for Poetry and 1999 Charity Randall Citation for Performance and Written Poetry for the International Poetry Foundation. Bradford was noted for his studies of black culture, life in Africa and throughout the African diasporas of the world in such works as Folk Culture of the Slaves in Jamaica 1970, The Development of Creole Society in Jamaica, Contradictory Omens, Afternoon of the Status Quo and History of the voice. The publication of which established him as the 13th of the note on national language. Yeah, this is a very special word coined by him. Bretwood often made use of combination of customized typefaces and spelling referring to as Psychorex video style. Some of his other notable works are Mask 1968 The Rivens 73 Other Exiles 75 Jamaica Poetry 79, Sun Pium, 1982, X Self, 1987, Barajan, Poetry 94, Dream Stories 94, Magical Realism 2002. Now comes another very famous topic in this context. Kalapo, Exile and Rootlessness in West Indian Poetry. So Exile and Rootlessness is always there involving it. His works were translated into many different criteria, and he is also quite referred in non-fiction work and one of the very important literary figure in Caribbean literature. When all these are some of the works referring to as he asserts jazz as black musical expression of opposing to the white dominance in the United States and he really categorized it in different day. This is the textual portion involving his work and the debate of the jazz Caribbean 
It's quite prominent in his work. Talking about the jazz snobbery and elitism involving in his work. And we can conclude by these points how he was able to talk about it. So quite complex and big topics related to him. Try to summarize them. These are his works involving. That's all for today. I hope you must have gotten an overall idea. Thanks for listening.